Hey guys, um, I wanted to tap in today and talk about who is on the IEP team. A lot of times when I'm talking about the IEP team, some parents are unsure who all is involved in this team. So first and foremost, it is you as the parent. You are a key player in the IEP team. Then we would have the special education coordinator or the ESE coordinator, depending on what your state um, defines as special education here in Florida, it's called ESE. Um, you would have a representative of special education or ESE there, as well as general education um, teachers. Those are teachers. You could have the uh, school psychologist there, the speech therapist, the occupational therapist, any of those service providers would be there as well. Um, and again, whoever your, your child's teachers are. Um, when we're talking about higher upgrades, it may not be every teacher that they have. That's why it would be like one of the uh, general education uh, representatives and a representative of special education because as they get older, they do have multiple teachers sometimes. So it wouldn't be all six of their teachers in that meeting. Um, and then whoever you want to bring to the meeting. So as for me, uh, we always bring our special education attorney so she is a part of the meetings. You could have your advocate there. You could bring your mom there. Anybody who you need for um, support can be there as well. And as well as the actual child. Um, starting at a certain age, depending on where you are, um, the child is to be a part of the meetings. But again, if you feel like at, at an earlier age, your child is able to be in these meetings and express what they feel they need in their IEP, have them included. Included as well. They can always be there for the first part of the meeting and then you can excuse them when things may need to get, you know, more in depth for things that you don't want them to hear.